now we're down to the main motor. Looks like it's sticking on there pretty good. Beat one edge of it to get it to move. Gotta mess with it too long. Now we got uh, we got a nut here. A nut here. I don't see a nut here. Doesn't look like I got them all. It's all right. The, the plate is already uh, threaded, but we're gonna find a nut for that one before we're done. But for right now, we want to take that off because we want to get down to the inside of this and start the lesson. Handy dandy screwdriver. And we, no, it fills. Now this ring inside is going to stick real hard, so it's going to take a bit getting this cover off. We don't want to bend the cover. There's a few little tricks we can do. So them over there, we're going to need them later. These I see screw, lock washer, nut. No lock washer between the nut and the other uh, plate, but there's a lock washer on the bolt side. Try to keep them in that order. Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. This one I don't have to really worry about hurting the wires on. Not for the first bit. Because that plate's right in the way. Now we're about to bust this thing. Um, I got this set in here and I'm lifting up on this just a little bit from where it's set. That way when I hit it with the hammer, it puts a vibration to the inside lip on the other side. We're going to take the other side cover off first. It's the most important one. I say to do it this way because other than that, you wind up bending this lip up out here and it doesn't look pretty when you're done. You might have to do this a while. Uh, like I said, lift up. Hit your hammer, I'm gonna hit your uh, screwdriver right right next to the lip, and she will start coming off. What we're trying to do is get this outer cover unglued from that ring. <clears throat> there we go. Now that we've got it that far, I can lay this in. Stick it in there good, give her a nice turn to the side, grab a few more. Tap them in, get it down to the center, and there's another screwdriver, let's put that one in there too. Oh, you can hold it by the hand, there we go, look at that, that was just enough, it almost popped off, everything became loose, uh, let's bearing move first. I see the stator inside, so it's this cover that's coming off, <coughs> okay. what I did is I wound up pounding my needle nose pliers seeing as they're much thicker into the other side and then I put the uh, put the other screwdriver down in here and I tapped it in. We did it off camera and then it popped a little bit so it's almost ready to come off. But what I'm noticing is it's coming off on the, the bearing sliding out on this one. But this is the one with the ring but that's okay. We want to see this side. We'll still be able to do that here in a minute. But it doesn't matter. The only thing we really have to worry about is this needs to leave. We'll get that out. That'll be on this cover when it comes off. So anyway, we're a little bit wider implements of destruction. I think it's about ready to just fall off on its own. And that will do it just fine. This is the cover to your bearing down here. Might want to keep it. Okay.
and it fits up against that little snap ring which we'll leave on here all right now we just want to get the other side off and i believe we all know how to do that just like on the other video and the bearing is still on here that's okay wonderful i just dropped the seal Keep that, that kind of keeps a lot of stuff out of your bearing. Now we got the Now you see I got my wires coming in here, pretty much select. You could either opt to go ahead and put this as the other side and swap your covers, which means you'll have to move the other bearing over here after you get it out of here and put this cover on this side and the other one on the other side, or you can swap. You uh, go ahead and push, uh, get your wires taken out through here and then coming back out this side. Either way is okay. Uh, the only thing is when you put this on, whichever end you have your wires out, you want the one that the, uh, the blades go to on the outside. So that's, and the uh, bolts, you don't want your bolts to be long enough to hit these wires here. Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energy. Um, I screwed this on what I would consider the bottom to make a stand so I don't have this thing gyring all over the place. If you can find a good heavy duty thick wrench, slip that up without touch, getting on the coils and just lift it above the table just a little bit, tap on this end, tap on it, tap on it. Now, don't have to be too hard, it's mainly the vibration that does the work. This bearing will come off. There we go. And that's how you get that one off. And you can put it on this side. And now, this plate can go on that side. I can leave these wires on this side. This is the side you want your blades to mount to. And we don't have to go through messing with these wires over here by pulling them out and sticking them back in. I've done that on a few of them. I really don't see it necessary when you can swap the plates. If the bearings don't come out, now you know how to get the bearing off. Don't be hitting it too hard. We don't want to mess your coils up. Just keep tap, be patient, let the vibration do the work. That's how an impact wrench works. Now you see your redneck bearing board. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and another home energy.